Hi, I'm in my dark room now. Um, so yesterday I was up on Beachy Head shooting um, the dew pond and I shot four sheets of film in the end. Um, I was shooting large format five by seven, five inches by seven inches. Uh, and these are the film holders. So each holder contains two sheets of film, one on this side and one on this side. And the reason I'm showing you this is that there has been some interest. People have asked about the process and what's involved. So I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you what's involved. Um, the sheet of film is the size of this aperture in the film holder. So you can see it's a large negative. And there is a slide that pulls out to expose the film and pushes back in again to cover the film. So this goes in the back of the camera. Um, you set the lens to the aperture and the speed you want it to be then you pull the dark slide take the shot which fires the shutter and closes the shutter again put the slide back in um, and then that's your exposure uh, and I'm going to develop these um, in trays so just as with any kind of development with paper or film you have three stages really in black and white there's the development stage so this will each sheet will develop for 11 minutes or so uh, in a developer called Pyrocat. Then there's a stop bath. The sheets go in the stop for about a minute. That just stops the development, as you might expect from the name. And then finally there's a fixing stage. Um, each sheet is fixed for six or seven minutes. Um, and fixing is what makes it no longer light sensitive at that point. Um, it's archival. Um, the first two stages have to be done for film in complete darkness, not even red light. It has to be pitch black because film obviously is sensitive to the whole light spectrum in a way that paper isn't. So when you're developing paper, you can do it with red light and you can see what you're doing. Um, when you're tray developing film, you have to do it in complete darkness, which is, I find, quite a meditative experience. I quite like it. Um, but it's slightly alarming when you first do it because you have to be aware of where everything is. You're dealing with chemistry, which in some cases is quite toxic. Uh, and trying to find things in the dark can be difficult. So you have to have a process that you're very kind of familiar with. So I will shut uh, the video off now, turn all the lights off, mix up... Well, before I turn the lights off, I'll mix up the chemistry and load up the trays. Uh, and then I will do these two sheets at a time. Um, so this whole process will take me about 45 minutes. But when I get to the first two sheets in the fixer, after the first couple of minutes in the fixer, you can turn the lights on. Um, so I'll do that and restart the video or shoot another video at that point. Okay, see you in a bit.